Pro. Hey guys, Spring Pro here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Today we're going to be playing as Spain. We're coming up on the end of the game here, guys, so I'm going to probably publish a video very shortly saying, um, with a straw poll for what we want to play next. The last straw poll, the country that was, uh, it was CSA, then Spain, and then Russia. Now, I'm not going to go off of that straw poll anymore because that's quite a few months or weeks old at least. So, we're going to be doing a new straw poll. Like I said, I'll make a video for that shortly. But, uh, you know, just right now, start thinking of ideas. Probably Russia will be a strong contender, obviously. But, you know, those people that voted for Russia might not even be watching the channel anymore. So, who knows? We will, uh, we will see. And, uh, maybe we'll be Super Putin. Maybe we'll do something else. Anyways, that will be up shortly. All right, we were helping out France over here. They we beat, we're beating up Austria on their behalf, basically, and things are going well. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is see about the next Great War. So the South German Federation and those are the only two French allies. I'm very curious who's going to be France's ally after this, though. Maybe they'll get some other great power to be their friend. Which would be nice because I don't think there actually are any great power allies anymore in the game besides Austria and uh, whoever, uh, Scandinavia. Besides Austria and Scandinavia, I think that's it. Anyways, uh, here we go. We're going to put it back up onto 5 speed because no reason to be any slower than that. Uh, looks like Italy is having some implosion issues over there. Alright. I think uh, I think we're pretty safe to go ahead and just pull out of Austria and let them finish it up. Sure, Netherlands, I'll take an alliance with you. Speaking of an alliance with you, Netherlands, how are we doing on influencing you? Uh, it looks like Japan is actually the most... Wow. That's insane. Um, we've got Belgium, though, so maybe that'll help. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can invest in Netherlands' economy at all. That'll give us a little bit of bonus points here and there. Same thing with uh, their southern friend. It looks like, yes, we can. I was able to upgrade all their factories. So that should give us some more sway with them. Our Doom fleet is doing work over here. It looks like Denmark actually got released already from Scandinavia, which sucks for it to be them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start pulling my troops back now that we've done our part. Don't think there was really anything super amazing that we were going to get from that anyways. I would really like to go to war with France in a great war and take all of their colonies, but I don't think that's possible, unfortunately. We might be able to go to war against someone like France's allies, South German Federation. Maybe they have good allies. Yeah, actually, if we went to war with the South German Confederation, their Federation, then uh, we would be able to go to war against Austria and France at the same time, which would be super cool. And then that would be that would be a good way to get into a great war with France, where we could take the rest of their colonies in Africa. Um, Portugal is our little uh, BBY, -B 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 so I don't really care about taking their land, since it's already in our sphere. Um, we're we're getting pretty strong over here in the South America. It's pretty good. Um, the USA is the only one with a better industry than us, which sucks for us, but. I think if I just pay attention more to upgrading my factories, that we will get close at least to beating them. We're still fascists, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can give people something if that they want. I think we're going to just keep on going for like uh, the immigrant attraction things, so we'll keep doing that. So maybe we don't lose as many immigrants. Those, those 3,000 units have been trying to siege that province in Ireland for like the, a million decades. And if, not, if that's not an actual measurement of time, then it's they, they've been sieging it for a long time. I don't really feel like giving war subsidies since we're losing money right now, so... That's okay. I'm going to try to leave it, though. I don't really want to change anything. I'll see what happens when we don't be in, we're, we're not in war anymore. 
Uh, let's see if we can queue up some more troops. Looks like we definitely can. Alright, so let's go ahead and build some guards first. Since we know we're going to have a limited amount of those that we can build in the first place. Alright, so I'm going to build three engineers. And then we're going to build like 12 infantry, 15 infantry probably. And then we're going to build uh, like 10 tanks and then 5 airplanes in Africa. Maybe a little bit less airplanes. Asia, we're going to go for a similar distribution, like half infantry. And just a few airplanes. Alright, that should be good. Uh, how are we doing navally? Could probably afford a few more dreadnoughts, I assume. Might as well queue those up. Our fleet is getting pretty, like, gigantic. And it looks like it's actually holding together pretty well as well. That's good. We're having issues with it, like, falling apart all the time. Let's get up there and help that naval engagement. So Austria actually has a pretty powerful sphere with Prussia. The North German Federation is a part of Prussia? No, it's just the name is just weird on top of them. But they also, they've sphered both, so. Interesting. Dreadnoughts are getting produced, that's good. Uh, we keep getting banned and beaten out of Sokoto. That's fine. I don't, I don't think it's really that big a deal. We're going to probably want to, uh, 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 wow, we can, we have to go to war again. Yeah, we have to take South, North Cameroon and then their capital and cause it's, it's dumb like that. Oh, I, was, I thought it said grass. I was like, wow, we get to produce more grass guys, you know, like 420 blaze it or something, or, uh, you know, my lawn is going to look super dank. I don't know which, but you know, one of those things. Oh, I built a unit over there in Limerick, I guess, and they beat it. Well, let's punish them for that, and we'll send these dudes over there. Uh, I'm use Spanish. There's rebels in Portugal. Well, they don't seem to be anywhere important, so whatever. Uh, yeah, we want to take pride or whatever, get more prestige, thank ya. Let's get some minimum wage going. The USA wants to be our ally. Let me look at my alliances right now. We're allies with... Uh... We actually don't have any great power allies, so I guess I might as well accept that. Will Japan take an alliance again? No. Okay. Perhaps there is somebody else where we can wrangle an alliance with. <clears throat> uh, China should be, like, here. I don't know why they're not on there yet. It's very odd. Italy kind of sucks. They uh, they can't even deal with their own rebels half the time. But they might be a good alliance nonetheless. I wonder why the United States offered us an alliance, though. Because, I mean, they're Republicans. So I thought maybe they were fascists or something random like that. But no. Alright, so I think that was the last of our military ideas, so I guess we can go for, um, do we want to finish the prestige, or what? I mean, I guess I'll just go with whatever's the easiest. 
to research, but we've got pretty a good amount of competition between those. Let's go ahead and uh, try to make our ships build a little faster. Since our next war is going to be against France, that's why I'm poising the troops. I guess they don't want to peace out yet. Austria and Scandinavia are like, uh, we'll probably still win, I think. Oh, it's those damn battles. Tyrol. <laughs> we should take this province here, this one that's like right there in the middle. I'm just gaining prestige. I'm sure we'll get as many possibilities as we need. I'm going to start decreasing relations with the South German Federation. They're actually pretty close to being a uh, great power. Is Prussia that close? Ah, they're actually better than Prussia and Bavaria there. Let's go ahead and get our logistics, get some more supply range. Alright, and we can now touch the Netherlands in their happy place. Oh shit. Oops. Alright, that's what happens when you click on the wrong one and be like, oh, there's no option except for that. I'm an idiot. It's okay. We'll get them back there. There's nobody else who cares about Egypt anyways. Unless they all come out of the woodwork now. Uh, actually, is there anything lower? Yeah, no. Alright. Let's just get market regulation. That's a lot of French troops, I see. Don't really know how many that... Do we match that? They've got 298 brigades right now. I'm assuming they're mobilized, and we've got 239 without being mobilized. Apparently we can mobilize another 178, so... 87, rather. And I'm sure that they have some dudes just standing around in some places. But so do we. We have a few guys marooned here and there. I'll try to pick these dudes up. Uh, yay, finally in Colombia we can do something. We got Colombia in our sphere, good. Oh, we finally peaced. Uh, looks like they did have to give up that, and they also released Ukraine. I think. <laughs> so it's hard to tell sometimes with Austria. Yeah, and they've been degraded now to a non-great power. They're the 20th, which means they lost their uh, sphere on Prussia, which means Prussia is kind of up for grabs. Uh, looks like France, though, is already hot on that. Uh, also, it looks like the South German Federation got stronger, um, but not strong enough to... Oh, they lost their alliance, I guess. Maybe I was looking at truces, or... They, they, yeah, I think I was looking at their wars. So they're actually... I don't know if there's anybody who really we can... That, could, that kind of makes way more sense, too, that they wouldn't be at war with the person they're allied with. So I wonder who we're going to go to war with. Does Switzerland maybe have another one? No. Finland? No, Finland just got released from Scandinavia. Alright, well, let's go get our dudes from Shayland. Uh, okay. Do we get a lot in our main... Yeah. These are Jacobin rebels. They probably don't like it that we're fascist. It's probably not, like, their favorite thing, you know. 
All right, let's get some more tax efficiency then. Let's just, you know, going down those techs. Okay, I'm just trying to balance out these armies a little bit better. To give them, like, some artillery, because there's a lot of infantry over here now. But I'm sure there's armies that are like this right here, where it's just all artillery. Alright, well, let's have these uh, major infantry armies go ahead and hunt rebels. Yeah, like, these armies totally need to gather and split each other up. And I guess now, if we can build anything, we'll just go ahead and start building artillery. Since we seem to be very short on it. But, you know, the, the infantry are the guys that are going to die, so... Kind of makes sense. Let's see if they... Uh, oh, good. France did get a great power ally. Good. Uh, now all we need is a Casas Belli on them. They're fascist, too. That's so cool. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do Place in the Sun, because I think that's going to be one of the quicker ones. Uh, I probably should have done um, Humiliate instead, but it's kind of late now, so... Don't know if it really matters. Some very nice railroad levels everywhere. That's very good to see. Making a lot of states. Good, good, good. Maybe that'll increase our industrial capacity a little bit more. Maybe we can inch ahead of the United States. They're actually way ahead of us. This kind of sucks. If we were able to consume some more of France, then probably we would get it. And we're going to be able to, we're fighting against Italy as well. So we'll probably take some of Italy. Maybe all of Italy. I don't. I think that's literally all of their country is right there. So we might be able to get away with just annexing Italy, pretty much. That would definitely be a good industrial boon. Yeah, there. That six twenty three would be nice to have most of that. And if we took the islands and you know the rest of our Sardinia here. Well, people really, really, really want free press. It's fine. Persia wants an alliance, okay. I'm not going to discriminate. I'm going to park over here and just we'll kill those rebels and then pick up all those troops. All right, now we're just going to get all on the boats here. Okay, let's get Impressionism. Wow, well, we can now do something to Prussia. Yeah, France already somehow sphered them. Pretty nice for them, I guess. It's going to suck having to fight against all those guys, but I think what we'll probably be able to do is, you know, like we always do, is uh, just break them on the mountains, and then that's that. Our fleet is indomitable now. It's just unstoppable. I'm actually going to pour it up these guys now that they're done just gathering the troops around. From around here, we're going to make sure that they get into a nice port where they can hopefully repair. Uh, call ally the second Dutch conquest of Hanover against the North German Federation. The North Germans are already are currently allied with Prussia, which could bring in France. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to decline. Along with Spain. Get some cores. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some corners on like foie, foie and stuff. That's good. Got quite a bit of cores in here in the Spanish in the like the territories that we took over from the for colonial and stuff. It's nice. All right. Do we have any troops that just got like trapped down here and then are don't know where to go, what to do? No, not really. <clears throat> 